I just pulled up to 146th Ave in Gig Harbor and I went ahead and unlocked the gate and I'm gonna head into the property. So off to the side here is a storage shed and that is locked so I'll see if the key works and we can take a look inside. But the studio is up closer to the house so I'm assuming they're just using that for storage. As we walk towards the house we have the carport right here and it is so beautiful out here you guys. There is a little bit of road noise so I'm gonna be quiet for a sec so you can hear that. Well that's a plane flying over. walk down this way. The local Albertsons is about 15 minutes away and then there is quite a few um, local restaurants and gas stations probably about five minutes from here so that's nice. Really pretty landscaping. This right here is the house and off to the right here is some storage for wood. There's a wood burning fireplace inside. And then to the left of the house, we have that potential studio. So let's take a peek in there. So here's a look inside. It's not huge, but the ceilings are high, so it feels more spacious. And depending on what you wanted to have happen in here, I do think it is a good size. You have a little window that goes out to the water. And then behind here, it also is wired. You know, we have some outlets and electricity in here. And then this is right behind the door. Could easily put a little curtain or something to block that off. When we walk back outside, we are at the start of the deck space and we have the entrance to the house right here. I'm on the opposite side of that potential studio and there's more storage over here. So just wanted to point that out. We got some more electrical here. Then some more overhead storage right there. When we head in, we have the laundry area right here and some additional counter space off to the side. This is for the heating and air conditioning. There is a central AC unit here, which is nice. And then from here, we head into the kitchen. Ceramic tile flooring in the laundry room and kitchen. The appliances and everything that they've left is staying with the house. So really pretty quartz countertop. Backsplash there. Good sized cupboards as well. And this beautiful view from the kitchen. It's hard to beat that, that is so pretty. It's really nice how it opens up into the living space. It feels really big in here. We have some skylight as well. So that definitely helps. That's that wood burning fireplace again, vinyl flooring, and a sliding door to the deck space that will go out at the end there. I know you're curious about the proximity to the neighbors on this one. So there's your neighbor right there. When I stand out on the deck, you'll see you're not able to see them. So that kind of deck slash front yard area to me feels very private out there, but they are that close. So we'll head back here, some vents there, this first bathroom, that ceramic tile, and a walk-in shower. All right, I know water pressure was another thing you were curious about in the showers and it seems good to me. Nice size, especially for a guest bath. And right across from that bathroom is the master. Great size closet. The window there. The room itself is not huge, but this beautiful French door leads into the ensuite. 
have a little tub insert shower as well. The ceramic tile and another skylight in here so it feels spacious. We have some floor heating as well right there. And then right to the left of that is the guest room or a spare room, however you wanted to use it. This has a view of the front area, which again, the landscaping is so pretty. And another decent sized closet. So I'm gonna head back out, that's the house, and we're gonna go onto the deck. So the deck wraps around from the side here, around the front. The siding on the house is wood. We have another storm drain situation for the community. And it is a composite roof as well. So here's a look at the front of the house from the deck. Or if you were in the water, what you would see. Really pretty. Fireplace out there. And this is, you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I said that when we're on the deck or out front here, it feels very private. And your other neighbor's house is situated back some. And you have a fence on either side. So that is the deck area. To the left, we have some stairs to go down to this little dock in the front yard. So I'll be quiet again so you can hear that road noise. But oh my goodness, is it beautiful out here, you guys. The deck could use a little bit of love, just to point that out. As well as some of the wood staining has faded just from, you know, natural wear and tear. So got some Washington green on it as well. gonna walk down the other side of the deck here so you can take a look at the other side of the house what we got going on over here feels very private back here and then this fence leads to that main area with the carport and the wood storage. Once again, walking around, checking those vents to make sure we don't see anything catching the eye insulation hanging down, which I do not, so that's good. And when I exit that side of the house, we have this shed, which I did not open for you yet. And this one is just more potential. They have some storage in here already little workstation. There's not a window in here like there was in the other one and the window in the other one had that water view but there is electricity wired so. All right I'm pulling out of the driveway now and I wanted to give you a view of the road coming in. It's just a straight shot right here to the stop sign and then I'm going to turn on to the main road.